Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another plan with me for the week of July the 29th through August the 4th. And as always, it seems like these weeks are just flying by. This week I am planning pretty much the same way I did last week with just a few different tweaks. This week, instead of having or listing my symptoms or things health-wise that is giving me a problem, I am not doing that on this page. I'm saving that for my fitness tracker. And on the left side, I am using it for events or errands that I do. And then on the right side, of the left page will be for things that I actually completed, whether it's on my task list or not. So that could be cleaning, um, anything that I pretty much do, I'm going to put on that side. And I'm using the other side for just a very short task list. I found it very helpful like I did last week. I didn't feel like overly stressed about anything or just really anxious about getting anything done. I just tried my best to look into it pretty much daily and see what it is that I could do. Now, with this week, I am using another tracker and I feel like I'm using this tracker simply to use up the stickers. And this one kind of comes all in one bunch and it gives me, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces to um, track things. So I'm just going to utilize it. I really want to get through this black and white book right here um, that I got from Joanne Fabrics and I just really want to use the things that's on here. My daughter has her surgery this week, so that's the sticker that you see me laying down there now. And yeah, I'm just really happy with this spread. I did get a chance to use um, the new sticker that I just, if you watched my previous video, then I did like a very small, small, small haul from Hobby Lobby and one of them included a Happy Planner sticker book. And so I am using these right off the bat. And I'm really excited about that. So here I'm just putting the numbers down. I really like going on top of the numbers with these that I have. I just think that it's really cute. It gives it like a little pizzazz for the page. And since I've been in the Hobonichi, it's really nice decorating because I don't have that much space to decorate in. And it allows me to use some things and uh, definitely use some functional stickers. So I'm happy about that. Now, per usual, I will be discussing a topic today like I always do. And this discussion is a combination of like my reaction, but also just my thoughts on social media, especially as it kind of pertains to um, like content creators, influencers, and things of that sort. I'll probably jump in in different spaces as the video goes as to the new things that I added in um, as well. But so I um, like I'm pretty sure others on YouTube have people that they follow. And then there's some people that are constantly in your recommended feed um, or just your feed in general because of other videos that you watched. And that's the case for this one person. I don't believe in like continuing drama because I feel like this person has enough of their own and they've been getting like a lot of reaction videos. So I know just um, like, you know, comments and stuff is very difficult. But I often wonder why is it that um, people that make content, especially if it's 
related to their day-to-day life, their family life, um, work life, or anything like that, Um, anything, just anything in general, but especially like those areas have such a hard time with others when they say comments. And granted, I don't think a lot of people on the internet is nice. I've seen people, and, and this is my case in point, like, if you're a content creator, nine times out of ten, you've watched videos, um, especially if it's uh, within the same thing that you're doing. You've looked through comments before just to see, like, how nasty people can get before you start your channel. And then you kind of go from there in terms of feedback and what you want. Now, I have seen uh, some people cut off their comments because they don't want to deal with what others say. And I've seen some people, like, literally say in their videos, like, if you say something rude, I'm blocking you, and that's that. But, you know, obviously, when we put ourselves out in in any shape or form, we are subject to people saying what it is that they want about us and commenting. And this particular person... um. It's about, like, her Her channel is about her relationship. And so she's gotten, like, a lot of comments, um, negative comments about the actions that she has been taking lately. And it's a mixture of, like, very rude comments, very supportive comments. And then it's those comments where people are, like, generally concerned about, like, her mental health and everything. And... I just, you know, it's disheartening, and I think that content creators, especially if this is, like, your main job, should really think about the mental health aspect, and if that means, like, turning off comments, even for your subscribers that say something good, maybe worth it in the long run, because for people to do reaction videos off of your life is very harsh especially when um you know i always say people only want you to see what they want you to see even when i used to look at reality shows a lot like they would always say oh the production only put up what they wanted to put up but at the same time they they could only put up what you did you know so Whatever moment they caught you in, you still did the behavior for that moment. Um, And I think, you know, whenever it's any type of reality shows or channels where your life and your kids are on there, um, it, it has to be like some thought into it. And if it means like taking down or or disabling comments I think that's very important because it could be the make or break to your mental health because I can't imagine like looking at rude comments and people saying like really really mean horrible things how that you know affects you and impacts like your life your home life and everything but then also I've seen some people in comments like literally try to get someone's kids took from them because they didn't like the content or they felt the need to like take actions into their own hands like that and I think it's just kind of gotten out of control at this point you know yeah um people put their life out there but some people do it while in a mental state if that makes any sense like Some people do it because they've been doing it for so long and this is their only form of income, you know, and in that case, I think when they present it or come off as, you know, like, well, this is my life and I don't need to hear this and that and I don't owe anybody this and that. Well, I mean, it's a lot of subscribers that feel like you do because they've been watching for so long and in a sense, they contribute to your income. But it's still their choice to watch just as much as this. all of our choices to put out whatever content it is. But I just wish that a lot of people were a lot nicer 
and kind of put themselves in the other person's shoes in terms of um, what they would like people to say back to them. And I know, you know, everyone has the right to do their own channel, but, you know, we can be nice to each other, you know, or we can just not say anything if we don't have anything nice to say, because I know people know what they're putting out there, but like I said, some people are doing this under, with a mental health concern wrapped in it, you know, so whether that looks like depression or whether that looks like anxiety or whether that looks like anger, you know, it's, it's still some mental health undertones and that means that what they're doing and and the manner in which they're doing it is not, you know, it it just may not be from a place that a year from now or a month from now um, that they may feel the same way about. So being kind is always good. I know it's hard, but being kind is always good because nowadays a lot of people are putting out content, whether on TikTok or anything else, because it's a faster way to make money it's a way that they can make money um, without having to go into work, so to speak, and still be present in their home. So, um, you know, just being kind is important. It's uh, it's just disheartening to see. Um, and this one particular person, I've just seen, like, uh, the comments have been, like, very, very bad. Um, and I think it, it's playing on her relationship with herself and family and it, kind of everything in general. So um, I just encourage people to be kind and kind of put yourself in that situation. While it may not be a choice that you would have done, would you want whatever comment you're putting under somebody else's page be something that you would want someone to do to your family members or to yourself. And sometimes I think that helps our perspective when we when we behave or, or choose certain actions, when we think about it like, like, hey, I got a mom, or I got a sister, or I got a brother, or I got a friend, you know, in what manner am, am I doing this? You know, like, kind of always question ourselves, am I doing this to help them or to hurt them? Am I coming from a good place or am I coming from a mean, vindictive place? Um, And that kind of always helps because, you know, this affects people when the cameras are off and they turn this off and the post is up and whatever they say as a rebuttal in the comments, it's a it's an after piece that they are not showing. Um, It's an after piece that that they're deeply hurt or deeply affected by it, um, that they may not come back on and be vocal about and say like, hey, that really hurt my feelings or I really felt like this and that when um, this happened. So I don't know, just being nice is important. And if you are a creator and you're getting like really mean comments, like maybe thinking about turning the comments off for a little while might be helpful. Um, where you can like reset, regroup, kind of build in areas that you need to because this is fun for a lot of people. I know making videos is fun for me. It's about stuff that I like to do, like planning, and I just really enjoy it. So not everyone, you know, that doesn't mean they have to like not make videos. So here you will see me um, adding in a girl. And uh, I'm really happy with how this spread turned out. I did a lot of re-maneuvering stickers, and I really don't like doing that, especially in a whole bunch of two weeks because the paper is so thin, and often you can really rip it. Um, So I'm just really happy about how this turned out. Now, what you'll see next is some pages that I set up for August, and one of them is my normal gratitude page, 
which I feel like I love. I love to reflect on something that I'm grateful for. So that is what you see right there. And I just added a girl and that is some lemons um, on that washi tape down there. And then the next page is going to be my August highlights. So I'll either put certain moments or pictures up here from the month that I want to highlight. And then I had a August um, like goal tracker. So it's four different things that I'll be tracking, which I'm really excited about. I didn't do too much to the um, the monthly sheet at all. And here I'm just going to quickly show you how I set up the dailies in the jot notebook. I am still using um, the food like tracker at the bottom where I can log my food, a shopping list, just something very, very simple. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.